hello again. Okay, I know yesterday we did summarizing, right? But today, Friday, April 17th, 2020, all right? We are going to do summarizing one more time this unit, okay? We will wait until um, next unit to do summarizing again, okay? We need more practice. So we're gonna do a really, really easy book, another SpongeBob book, okay? Just to practice summarizing, practice finding the problem. What is the problem in the story? What does the main character want, okay? So, you know, whenever we're summarizing, we have to find the main character, okay? Always find the main character. Then we have to find wants, right? Wanted. What did the main character want? They wanted what? Then we have to find the problem, okay? What's the problem, okay? What are some solutions? Okay, what did the main character, what did the main character try to do? What did they try to solve their problem? Okay, main character, what do they want? What was the problem? Okay, what are some solutions? And then last but not least, the ending. Okay, sometimes the solutions do not work, right? Sometimes Biscuit wanted to play, right? Wanted to eat, wanted to drink. What was the problem? Problem for Biscuit is, it was bedtime. The problem in the story was it was bedtime, okay? And then what were some solutions that Biscuit did to stop bedtime? Well, he wanted more kisses and he wanted more hugs. But in the end, even though he tried kisses and hugs, in the end, he still fell asleep, right? We must, must practice summarizing with easy, easy books, okay? Why? Because easy books make it very easy to find the main character what they wanted, right? It literally said, Biscuit wants to play. So you knew that's what they wanted. It's easy to find the problem, the solution, and the ending. These two, these two right here, prop <coughs> and solutions, these are difficult. Sometimes they are hard to find. Sometimes they are hard to write about the problem and the solutions or solution but we must practice finding it okay in our books Boop. Boop. <laughs> okay so this is another spongebob book and i will do this with you you just listen and pay attention okay all right let's find a good marker excellent so this is fix the rip a short eye book, okay, and the main character is, says it right on the front, Spongebob Squarepants, but we call him Spongebob, right? Main character, Spongebob, okay? And this is by Quinlan B. Lee. We always want to know who is the author, and we try to say their name, okay? We try. It's okay if it's not perfect. Names are so look, a net, said SpongeBob. Do you want it? asked Squidward. I want to get rid of it. Sure, if you want to get rid of it, said SpongeBob. So what is there? What does SpongeBob want? SpongeBob wants the net, right? He wants the net. SpongeBob wanted the net we can skip with the net said patrick oh i'm sorry patrick's a deeper voice we can skip with the net said patrick 
Yes, we can skip and zip with it. We can skip and zip and whip with it, said SpongeBob. We can even get a fish with it. So we could also say that SpongeBob wanted, also SpongeBob wanted a fish, a jellyfish, right? He wanted to skip, he wanted to zip and whip with it. There's many things we can say what the character wanted, right? Patrick, do not trip with it, said SpongeBob. But Patrick did trip with it. Patrick did a flip with it. Rip. What do you think the problem's going to be? And this says jellyfish fields. It's where the jellyfish like to run. Uh, oh, the net has a rip, said Patrick. It has a big rip. So what's the problem? The net has a rip. Okay. Can't catch jellyfish if your net is ripped. So that's the problem, right? What he wanted, he could not have. We must fix it, said SpongeBob. So now they got it. Their solution is they're going to fix it. How can we fix it, said Patrick? How can we fix a big rip? We can hit it, said SpongeBob. A big hit will fix the big rip. So one solution is to hit the net, right? Hit the rip. I don't know if that's going to work. Squidward saw the net. The rip was not big. You could not see the rip a bit. Where's the rip? Asked Squidward. He can't even see the rip. The rip, said SpongeBob. Did you say rip? Yes, the net had a big rip, said Squidward. That is why I wanted to get rid of it. We got rid of the rip, said SpongeBob, but you can't get rid of us. So what was the, so the problem was there's a rip in the net, right? Solution was to hit it. Hit the rip. The ending was they showed the fixed net to Squidward, right? They fixed the net. That's the ending. They got rid of the rip. SpongeBob and Patrick got rid of the rip. Many times the ending, it says in the book, the problem, it says it in the book. We just have to use the sentence, right? And instead of writing, you know, we fix the rip as the ending, you write SpongeBob and Patrick fix the rip. You say who it is. You don't say we, right? Okay, let's do this worksheet together really fast. So the main character is Oops. Who's the main character? You tell me. SpongeBob. Okay? So you have to write SpongeBob, okay? You could write SpongeBob and Patrick and Squidward, but the main, main, main character is SpongeBob. So just write SpongeBob, okay? Just like in the biscuit book. The little girl's in there and the mom, but the main, main, main character is Biscuit, okay? That's whose name you hear the most. That's who's doing the action. So, the main character or characters wanted, what did they want? What do they want? You could just say, they wanted a net. They wanted a net. Easy, right? You could put they wanted a net to catch jellyfish. They wanted to play with the net. But you need to have net. What do they want? The net. They wanted that net, okay? So SpongeBob, a net. Easy, right? Those two, easy, easy, easy. Now, the problem in the story. The problem in the story was what happened to the net. Do you remember the problem in the story? Should be easy. Let's see. 
the net has a big rip. We must fix it. That's the problem. So the problem was the net has or had a big rip. Just like the story. It says it right here in the story. It has a big rip. You could write, the net had a big rip. The net needed to be fixed. Um, SpongeBob and Patrick must fix it. Fix the net. Okay, make sure we know the noun. Okay, what's the problem? Usually involves the noun, the net. Okay, the problem in the story was the net had a big rip. Okay, easy. Now, how did they solve the problem? Really easy. How can we fix a big rip? And Patrick says, we can hit it. So how do they solve? The main character in the story solved the problem by, and you can say Patrick, right? By hitting the net, okay? Hitting the net or fixing the net. So the main character in the story solved the problem by hitting or fixing the net. So at the end of the story, at the end of the story, the main character fixed the net or showed the net to Squidward, right? Or the, what did they say at the end? It says, we got rid of the rip. So you could say, at the end of the story, the main character got rid of the rip. Done. All of our sentences came from the book. <coughs> Use the book. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Use the book to answer the questions. Find the sentences that answer the question. Okay? All right. In the next video, we'll do one more story. And then you're going to have the same homework as yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> All right. See you soon.